Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Crazy Bat Lady. It's that time of week again for the randomizer. Now, if you haven't seen one of these before, basically I roll from a wheel that I found on Blue Stacks that I'll leave in the description below, and I have to choose the characters that I roll from the wheel. The rules are incredibly simple. Can only use the characters that I roll. Uh, no reviving until after the fight. Must be all weekly bosses, no food buffs, and different characters each week. So new characters two weeks in a row. Let's see who we got. Okay, Mona. Off to a good start. Shingling, shingling. Oh, a traveler. Okay. I have like no investment in my traveler. Okay, at least it doesn't specify what element I have to use. I can use any element I want. Noelle. Okay. Um, yeah, okay, who's the last one? Please no, Albedo. Okay. Now, I love Albedo, but for bossing, uh, Albedo is not so great because his little flower elevator gets destroyed quite easily. Yeah, this isn't a team I would run, for sure. All right, so here's my Noelle. I'm working on getting her the four-piece husk set, but I haven't been having much luck. So I'm still using four-piece retracing bolide due to lack of good pieces, because this is a hard set to replace <laughs> with those crit stats, you know? Constellation 6, of course. And here's Alfredo. Another character I'm trying to build a husk on. I've got two pieces so far. Got Cinnabar Spindle. And here's Artifacts. Nothing too crazy. Again, a work in progress. But Alfredo, being as good as he is, is not the best with bosses, as I said before, and you will see later on. This mental skill at level 9. Now Traveler, oh my god, I have put no investment into her whatsoever. Like, my Lumine sucks. I'm gonna be using her as a Geo Battery. So I got her with the Sacrificial Sword so that I can generate more energy for Noelle to do damage. I was thinking about doing Electro Lumine, but I feel like this will probably be better. Here's my Mona. Another reason I was thinking of Electros maybe to get some Electro Charges with Mona, but it just isn't going to be substantial enough, so... Mona's just going to be there for some sub DPSing, and I'm going to use Noelle as the main DPS. I have not ascended my Mona, also. Alright, now let's start things off the right way and go and slap around the wolf a little bit. Right, here he comes. Here comes the doggo. I don't know why I placed that there. Whatever. <laughs> right, let's get some energy. I forgot to uh, energy up before I came here. Okay, there we go. That's good enough. Alrighty. Almost got Mona up to energy. I want to try and get an omen going. Huh. Yeah, see what I mean about Albedo? The flower? Where did it go? The flower is gone. Just like one swipe uh, kills the flower. Nonetheless. Already onto the second phase. Ah You can probably climb up one of those pillars and like snipe with Mona from there, but um, I really recommend it. Being that the pillars just get insta chunked. Oh god, that's actually gonna trap myself inside. 
Yeah, but keep that in mind if you're ever using um, Geo Traveler, is that like her ultimate actually can cause you problems. Like if you're trying to dash away, you can get stuck behind the little walls. Alright, come over here, go over here. Oh, the flower disappeared. Okay. Well, here's another one. I start smacking him. Yes, he's, he's just not even doing damage, like, for some reason. Oh, there we go. There's a tick. I guess I was just getting really unlucky with the crits or something. I don't know. Healing time. Grady. Yeah, uh, Geo Traveler. Great battery. Actually, she's really good at battery, and I'm not collecting this. You know, I just noticed something about Albedo's hair. That must be really hard to actually do. It's got like, uh, it's like a, a braid, like, wrapped around, and then like a little, like, tail hanging off the back. Oh, that actually works pretty well for evading that. Is stand in the elevator? Devalon won't hit you. Aw, too bad you can't reach him from here. Hey, it almost worked. Oh, shit. Albedo doesn't work at all here. At least for damage. But yeah, that hair. I don't know. That must take forever to do. Same with, like, ka -Ching's hair. Like, that kind of hairstyle must take so long in here. Alright. Toenail clean in time. Wait, this isn't doing a lot of damage. It's like Noelle without her burst. <laughs> Poor Alfredo. So I feel bad for him. He's like such a good character, but if you're bossing, like, you're kind of screwed. Except for you can go up on the elevator, so it's all good. Elevators make everything better. Well, unless you're terrified of elevators, then elevators make everything worse. Come on, Noelle. Let's do this. Alright, shield down, and I'm pretty sure he's done for. Is that going? Alright, here we go. Say goodbye to your sit. You know, this is just kind of like Devalin's weekly sit removal, if you think about it. Well, there we go. Alright, now I have to point this out because this is a crime against hair. Why did Mihoyo do this to Albedo's hair? The right picture is what his hair is supposed to look like. This is just a complete travesty. And I will not forgive Mihoyo for this. I noticed this when he first came out, too. Oh shit, my batteries! No! My battery's dead. Hey, you know what's really funny, though? Is my lift level 50 looming with literally no investment is doing, like, a lot more damage than my level 80 whatever Toma. Like, level 7 talents. That's not okay. And the argument of Traveler being a 5 star is not a fair argument. Because we got Xing Zhou over here that just does dick loads of damage. So I have no idea how they release him that way. But this video isn't about Toma, it's about hair. Or I mean weekly bosses. Alright, here we go. He's already into the final phase. Lumin's hair is nice too. Tartagli kind of looks like he needs to brush his. Alright, here we go. Place this. And just go ham. Yeah, he's done for. <laughs> you see, this team works so well here. That was pleasant. That went very smooth. I mean, except for Lumi dying. <laughs> It was good aside from that. Ooh, two artifacts. Hot garbage. 
garbage on fire, butt plug, and some other stuff. All right, now I know I mentioned this, and all of you probably already know, Albedo is a really good support. You can deal a lot of damage without messing up your elemental reactions, and that's very valuable to have on a team. But what you're about to see is terrifying. Albedo versus Aged Daha. This is not something I ever wanted to do, but here I am. <laughs> All right, let's get this going. Put the omen on him. Um, what the fuck is that damage? Oh dear god, we're gonna be here a long time. <laughs> I forgot that he's like resistant to Geo also. And lucky me. He's infused with Hydro this time as well. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be here a little bit. See what we can do in the meantime. I guess we could look at some pictures. Um, how about this picture from the the date quest with Noel? I thought that was really cute. That was probably my favorite one out of all of them. I still haven't played part two yet, but I do plan on it at some point when I'm feeling bored. Um, I don't know. Let's take a look at some memes. Let's see what we got here. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, any damage yet? I'm getting down there. Of course, this, this is going to be sped up a lot. Right? It's a weekly boss. It's a weekly boss. Well, fuck you, and I'll see you next week. Oh, boy. Um... <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Let's do this. Let's go. No, he's going underground. <laughs> what an asshole. You know, maybe that's how she got there. That would explain it. This is a really weird crossover, to be fair. Oh my god, it's like... It's like beating up a bowl of spaghetti with a piece of cardboard. Five hours later. Alright, I'm gonna speed this way, way up. Is he taking damage? All right, here we go. No, go back underground so I can hit your tail. So much spinning. <laughs> it's so sped up, all I see is just Noelle spinning here and there. It actually looks kind of hilarious. Watch that health bar go down. Okay, he's almost dead. He's almost dead. Oh yeah, you can't deal with the fatal hit on the tail. You just gotta wait till he comes back up. And love tap. What an exhilarating fight. What do we got for our rewards? We have got... Alright, well, on to the next fight then. That was an epic blue ball's waste of time. Okay, Lost Nora. Let's do this. Plant Albedo's flower. Debuffer. And slice and dice. Oh damn, that was that was actually really fast. Okay, I'm gonna try and battery while she's in this form. I don't have to worry about breaking the lamps ever again. There we go. On to phase two, I'm gonna speed this one up a little bit as well. She's actually incredibly tanky. And she has some crazy hair. I'm just saying. 
You know what? I think I'm actually gonna make a video. Like, a, a, a hair tier list. Yeah, I think I'm gonna make a hair tier list. Because some of these characters have just such amazing hairs. It'd be so hard to cosplay. I mean, others are simple, you know, like, Mona's just picked- what- what the fuck? Did I get her stuck? Um... I think I broke the boss. Oh, there we go. I didn't know you could do that. Apparently she can get stuck on Geo Constructs. Interesting. I'm gonna break this before I die. Oh wow, she's not even at half health. But we'll get there. In the name of hair, we will do this. I love Noelle's hair. I've always loved Noelle's hair. The roses are a nice touch as well. She's going to Pyronado farm. I'm just gonna go hide, hide over here in the lamp like a moth. They sound like chipmunks. They're all sped up. It sounds so silly. Imagine if you were always playing this fast. Like, imagine if there's an option to actually speed up the gameplay to this level. That would be insane. That would make something so much easier, like getting around, like collecting resources, but it also make some things like incredibly hard, like Spiral Abyss. Like, imagine Spiral Abyss, but like four times as fast or two times as fast. <laughs> You have to be really meticulous and careful. Alright, she's almost dead. She's almost dead. Well, actually, technically she is dead. Here we go. Now let's see what we got. Any billets this week? Wow, no billets. And a doo-doo artifact. Hey, you got two flowers, though. That's pretty good. Well, anyways, I hope that you found this enjoyable, um, kind of a weird team this week for sure, but we made it work. We made it happen, and I know it's probably just me talking about hair half the time, but please leave a like and subscribe, as I'd appreciate it a ton, and I'll see you around next time, do the next randomizer next week, and so on and so forth. Have a nice day! Bye.